Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today it's with great pride that I'm unboxing Elac's superb two driver subwoofer, their sub 2070. This is a stunning subwoofer. It's always been a favourite of mine and it's wonderful to be able to share this with you today. It features two opposing 250mm uh, drive units. It's got a 600 watt bash amplifier. Now I had to research what bash meant, right? It's bridged amp switch hybrid. Basically, uh, Class D amplifiers are wonderful as far as being able to inject lots of current and voltage when required to keep a drive unit under control. And the dampening factor associated with a Class D is also renowned for being able to keep it under control and move things with precision. But, but they can be noisy. And so this bash amplifier uses a hybrid design of uh, Class AB, traditional amplification, and then it injects more raw power only when required to keep that drive unit under control at prestigious volumes or dynamic passages for musical movies. So this hybrid is absolutely stunning. When you see the product, it's going to look a little bit unusual, so please hang around for some of the photographs, but I'll explain some of the design elements as we look at them. Okay, so first, it's, it's not a small subwoofer, okay, it's actually really well packed, so the box that we see here is a little bit alarming in size. Nevertheless, it has a big sticker on one side with the scannable information associated with model and serial number, along with uh, an, uh, an emulation of colour and other options, all clear to see. There's a carry handle on this side and the other side, again alluding to the physical size and mass of this product. The rest of the box, other than the ELAC screen printing that you see, is pretty muted and boring. The only thing though is that it does say um, top. Uh, it's part of the reason. It's, it's packed obviously inside another box. So that's where we're going to start. Opening it from the top. Now, like most larger products from ELAC, there's actually a, a, a secondary sort of thing. Here. The uh, packing tape that you see me sort of trim, and then the staples. Uh, the larger boxes are stapled closed to ensure that they are very firm. Uh, but of course, the first thing you need to do is discard those staples. Again, it's a reminder not to hurt yourself or damage your new product. Now, folding that back, we see sort of another layer here, and this is actually what I want to pause and show you. With a substantial subwoofer of this size, the packaging is going to be really, really important, particularly by the time it's come all the way here to New Zealand. So what they've got is uh, closed cell foam corners stuck to a piece of cardboard to then hold a second box uh, precisely and firmly in between, giving it a lot more um, option as far as being able to protect itself in freight. Now, getting it from here, I'll be honest, I would probably have rolled this over and taken the box off and started from there, but now that I've shown you that, we'll just do it this way. So slipping it over and just letting that slide forward, and then get rid of this outer box. There's the other half of the packaging. And get rid of that. Right, now at this point we've got a boring inner carton. There's not much to it. And it's only held closed by the basic packaging tape that you would expect. Again, nice and easy at this point. Rolling it over. And then there's another set of handles to allow you to lift the box easily off the product. Okay. Now, here we see a couple of things. Firstly, there's four little rubber bump-ons. If this is sitting on a hardwood floor, um, you can add those to uh, stop it from vibrating or rattling, and of course, uh, help uh, stop it from moving around. There's a comprehensive user manual and instruction guide all about the setup. By the way, the setup. It's via um, Elac's uh, Bluetooth app, so you download it, you, you don't have to keep it on your phone, it's not an interactive thing permanently. You download it, you set it up once, and then from the comfort of your living room chair, you can sit and play with all the management of the amplifier and get the most out of it. 
uh, overcoming perhaps poor placement, or integrate it brilliantly with either bookshelf or floor standing speakers, or of course in a home theatre environment. So, of course, being able to do that from the comfort of your uh, seat is really, really important. It gets the most out of it easily. What we've got is a big desiccant bag and then a power adapter. Oh, sorry, a USB adapter. So that's a USB-A to micro. And I would suspect it relates to software or other things in the back of the unit. And then we've got a power cord. Uh, you can hear from... Um, how firmly that was cut. Of course we've got a brilliant uh, polystyrene end to protect the subwoofer. Now at this point it's probably easier to sort of just roll it over and then remove that last piece of polystyrene and then carefully sort of fold away the plastic bag and then the protective polished cloth bag inside. Now the unit has a top and bottom, but that's really only revealed once you've got all the packaging off. So we'll get rid of the plastic bag, and then get rid of the um, polish bag as well. At this point it reveals the back of the subwoofer, and subtly the front. This is two opposing woofers, uh, both firing into a disbursement plate, and everything associated with the disbursement of that base is managed with things like its feet and other, other attachments. It's all designed to uh, maximise the energy flow or the sound pressure in your room. You can see that it's matched, but it is designed to sit upright in this way. It has a centralised ELAC logo and uh, illumination here as far as a tricolour LED for its status. There is a drive unit floor firing and then another active drive unit firing upwards. It means from a design perspective they do leave a few exposed um, hex nuts, but that's, that's kind of critical and I forgive them for doing that. With some things with the ability to produce such a prestigious amount of dynamic controlled Base, evenly in a space, the top and bottom is going to have to be uh, absolutely the same. And so the design has been introduced and these sort of hex bolts left. Look, if it annoys you, there, there are other subwoofers on the market, but this one, I will easily forgive that design element because its performance is absolutely stunning. Now before I twist it around, you'll see it's ever so slightly rectangular in its design. You'll see the side, uh, again, all gloss black with the chrome sort of inflections with the feet and then we see the back. Now because it's set up with a uh, app via your smartphone then uh, sorry there's there's very few little uh, fiddly bits on the back of the unit itself. It's relatively boring in fact. What we do have is of course a traditional IEC input with a rocker switch for on and off. It's a multi-voltage subwoofer so it will handle all the way from 100 to 240 volts and 50 to 60 hertz. We see again an emulation of the model and serial number at the back which of course is a sub 2070. Then there's some basic information about, about the uh, bash amplifier and uh, the Bluetooth side of things and the version of Bluetooth that it's using. Above this we see traditional speaker level input and unusually it allows you to run three speaker inputs. If you're using this in a higher end home theatre environment the decision uh, to utilise left or right is, is often relatively easy, but they've introduced a centre speaker ensuring that it can take a feed directly from the obviously centre speaker in a home theatre, uh, meaning that as things transition between the left, centre and right speaker you don't get a sudden drop off or roll off of bass, and that, that is a key feature to the performance of this product and relatively unique, certainly at its price. Then we see a basic USB for maintenance and we see a couple of line inputs. The left one is also marked for LFE, should you be plugging this into a processing preamp or obviously AV receiver. Then we see what the adapter is for, which again is for software and maintenance and servicing over here. So there we have it. Elax stunning dual 250mm subwoofer, 600 watts bash amplifier, easy to set up via an app. It's uh, extraordinary, it's absolutely stunning. The beautiful ELAC Sub 2070, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, 
New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.